we have math.pow. That's pow, pow, pow. No, just kidding. Um, let's do a plus two. Now I'm going to do a comment out here. So everything after this pound sign or hashtag, whatever you want to call it, uh, gets ignored. So y is equal to, in the way this writes mathematically, is x squared plus 2. If we wanted to change the power to a 3, 4, or 5, we would just put that number right in here. All right. So this is a built-in, this is the built-in uh, math module. And so as you can see, we got to, we have to bring in these uh, custom functions that were made for this module, but anyway. Now, I don't think we've really talked about uh, variables yet, but uh, this equal sign here is an assignment operator, and whatever this becomes, y gets assigned that number, and that will become clear later on in the story. So variables are just like containers that store just one value at a time, and we'll be learning a lot about other containers that can store many values at one time. All right, we're going to uh, re now. Let's go ahead and do a print on this. So we're going to print y. Now you notice that we used x up here as a parameter. Okay, this is known as a parameter. Um, and notice we used y here. So we're using x and y's in both functions. But that's okay because these are known as local variables and as long as they're defined inside the function we can reuse them again as long as they're defined inside the function. But if I were to come out here and define for example y, uh, assign y5, this becomes a global variable. It becomes a global variable and we'll be talking more about that later. Where are we at? Um, so I'm going to go ahead and run this, but we want to incorporate this function actually in this guy here. And let's let's do this. Let's put f of x. Let's put f of x here. So when we plug in, for example, 1, we're going to have 1 squared plus f of 1. And f of 1, you would come up here and you would say, well, that's 1 plus 1 is 2. It returns 2. So this becomes 2 right here. And this is 1 squared, and 2 plus 1 is 3. So our answer should be 3. Let's take a look at it. What was I plugging in here? I forgot. 2 or... I was plugging one in. Yeah. I forgot what I was doing. Alright, we gotta hit run module. So g of x, that's what we gotta remember. G of one actually. Remember what g of one was equal to? Remember it was equal to three. It was equal to three. Now let's do something else. I wanna go up here and we're gonna show you the difference between return and print. If I were to say print y, now let's see what happens this time. Let's see what happens. Got a feeling something not good is going to happen. Yeah, so we get all this mess. And that is because on the f of x, we got print, and, and so it doesn't know what to do, right, when it gets to this point here. That's the reason we use return. Return. Return y. Right. So this is how we're going to be doing most of our code. We will be writing it inside of a custom function. So I thought I would try to get these uh, defining custom functions out of the way. And yes, there are there are some rules here. For example, you can't put a one in front of our function, but we could we could put underscores if you would like. Um, you can call this anything you want, right? Call it our first 